Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review The Nowhere Inn. And this is from director Bill Benz, who has worked on film uh, shows like Portlandia, and this is starring St. Vincent, and also Carrie Brownstein as fictionalized versions of themselves in this mockumentary format where St. Vincent is trying to make a documentary about her career and her life and recruits her friend Carrie to come in and direct it. And this is, this is no, this is Spinal Tap. This is much more abstract. This is much more art house than just like going straight up, like a straightforward kind of documentary style. There's something ambitious and interesting and unique about the narrative that goes here. And there's definitely scenes where that ambition escapes itself. And some of the scenes are just like, what's going on here? But there's other scenes that are so perfectly well staged that are just hilarious and funny. There's scenes that are really emotionally impactful. And there's other ones that are pretty unnerving and eerie and uncomfortable. And how Benz is able to balance all those different kinds of genres, those different atmospheres, those tones, is pretty impressive. And what really makes this film work is St. Vincent and Brown scene as St. Vincent, she does such an amazing job of exaggerating this personality about herself, where she can be uncomfortable and vulnerable in moments. She could just be horrible and there's an interesting dynamic where like there's a subplot here where she's dating Dakota Johnson and they have a very intense sexual magnetism with each other and Brownstein's put in a really uncomfortable situation where she has to try to direct a sex scene and how Brownstein's able to sell that discomfort and how Johnson and St. Vincent are able to really make that compelling uh, chemistry between each other is really impressive. And that's one of the scenes where it's like really uncomfortable because you can tell how uncomfortable Brand scene is based off of the direction and her performance. And there's definitely a lot going on there in terms of the dynamic between St. Vincent and Brown scene because they have great chemistry as well. They have great banter with each other. They have interesting relationship. And it's the heart of the film. It's the central part. And there's conflict in terms of who's directing this and putting this together. This film is so strange. And I think a lot of the times it's a bridge too far. It really tries to re overreach its bounds and what's really working in the film. But it's funny. It's creepy. It's uh, emotional at times. There's betrayal. There's... Um, horrible misjudgments of treating people's feelings and you have all those and then you throw in scenes of St. Vincent performing which have like this gritty older looking kind of documentarian style that really works it's raw the performances are great it really captures her music and her personality and there's so many like the this character of St. Vincent is so complicated and strange and goes to so many strange places. And then you have the anchor, which is Brown scene, who's much more down to earth and connected. And the audience can live through her and experience St. Vincent's journey throughout this film in all of its abstract craziness. And where this film doesn't always work, it has a lot going for it. And it was a very interesting and unique experience that I can't help but try to recommend this to all those cinephiles out there. This is not for mainstream audiences, but for those who really appreciate film and can see the things that are working really well here, definitely give this one a go. IFC has made a very unique and interesting and bold film here, and I hope more people go check it out. But those are my thoughts on The Nowhere In. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.